All right, welcome uh, out to the Knowles Recreation Area. Today we're gonna talk about our 1969 M715. This was built for the military, used in Vietnam uh, for a short period. They uh, were used as a troop transport carrier, cargo carrier. This one is equipped with the Bradley winch. Only a couple thousand were made with that, so those were used for recovery operations. You can see it still retains all its blackout lighting up front. There you have your grill guard. You can run into stuff without taking out the front end. Has a Dana 60 front axle. The rear axle is a Dana 70. If you look on the front here, these big D rings come off and you can mount these on the wheels. There's also D rings on the back that you can mount on the wheel there. And that's to airlift the truck with a crane or whatnot. So you can transport it wherever it needs to go. The top is removable on here. The windshield also does fall down fold down just like a Jeep. Seats fold on this. This is your battery box, minimal gauges, whatever you need there. You've got your manual shifter, e-brake, and then your four-wheel drive shifters there. But uh, very sparse, only gave you what you needed. Behind your seat, you have a factory rifle holder here. So you have a M16 there. This is a storage container. This goes all the way through to the other side. Now you can open it. It's got another opening on the other side as well. Jerry can holder this is your fuel filler right here. So it has a, oh, oh not that one. Ah. That, so it's your Dana 70 rear axle. You got your Pioneer tools that strap on here. Got your tailgate, this thing is heavy duty. It sits in a couple positions, which is pretty neat. So obviously the upright, and you can use your chains to hold it like a truck bed like that. And then also that sits down like that and makes it easier for it to jump in. Um, this is also equipped with the bench seats. I don't have them in it, I have them back at the shop, but you would have wood rails that go up here with a covered canopy so you could haul cargo and have it covered, but then it would also have the wood rails fold down into troop transport seats. So it's pretty neat. I have the original ones that came with it in 1969. Got your blackout lights in the back as well. got your shovel over here. This one is equipped with the water fording kit. So that's why there's three bolts on the exhaust pipe. It right has an exhaust pipe that bolts on there and goes up in the air. So if you completely submerge it, you don't get water down into the engine. I also have the snorkel for it. Uh, just haven't put it on. But uh, this is your access to the other side here. There's your jack there. They have tie downs all over this thing right here, there, there. And then they're actually inside. There's built in tie downs inside the bed as well. That's what these are for. 
right there. This truck came equipped with a radio system on it there. It's a huge antenna on there. I've actually got all the radio equipment for it. You got your earpieces here and um, I actually got your speaker right there. I've got the whole head unit back at the shop there. Got your original nomenclature plates there. Tells you all the information of the unit, how much it weighs, height, how deep it can go, year, and all that good information. The light on the top there is actually your driving light. If you don't want to be seen from the air and by the enemy, that shines just a straight beam forward that was very hard to see for you <laughs> and your whoever is trying to spot you on here. Uh, it still has the original straight six overhead cam tornado engine. <sighs> When this truck first or when this motor first came out um, in the gladiator um, it was kind of a modern marvel and ahead of its time um, but unfortunately by the time it, the m715 came out it was already outdated and kind of over underpowered so they put out about 190 foot pounds of torque and can't remember what the horsepower is but uh, you can see your air filter system there um, the snorkel, you would disconnect that, and then it goes through the fender and sticks up about six feet. But these are the original markings here. It's the military there. The yellow here indicates that it was probably from the Marines. The uh, Marines usually had yellow markings on their units. But uh, it's a pretty dang cool truck. It's pretty fun to drive. Um, 45, 50 is about your top speed. It's a four speed manual and your first gear is stupid, stupid slow. But as long as you have traction, you can climb just about anything you want. But uh, check back with us next time, we'll do another one.